today. We've got Melissa McFerrin with us, who is coming off a pretty good year. A little health issues again, but I know uh, next year it's going to be a whole different ball game. How are you getting ready for all of that, and how are you holding up in this? Well, I tell you what, Dave, our job has changed dramatically because we're doing everything from a distance, but it hasn't changed that much. The only thing that we're not doing now that we typically be doing is spending two hours in the gym with our players. And that's probably the most difficult part because they want direction and we want to coach them. So, but we've got to just power through this. We've got to all be healthy and, and safe. And whenever we go back, I trust that our kids are working really hard right now and doing everything they can. They worked hard this year, there's no doubt about that. And you really had a weapon in Madison Griggs. The young lady from around here was brilliant from the outside. But you know, you got to have help to do that, to get those wide open looks. So explain to me how you got Madison Griggs so wide open, she set a school record of 96 threes this year. Well, it happened over time. Um... Our players learn that in transition, if you get her to the ball, she's probably gonna get a really open look. But I'll tell you what, when we went deeper into the season and Jermyra Schutz got hurt, Maddie became, uh, began to get the best defender on the other team, it became more difficult. So we put some tweaks into our system just to open up shots for her. All right, if you don't mind, go over how you work this out by detail. You're gonna see that Maddie finds her way to the opposite block. And we've got both post players set on this side of the floor. Dulce there at the high elbow and Kiki at the low block. So really what we're doing is we're creating a little false action. We're putting Maddie in a position to set it, to make a great cut. We're making Dulce the ball screener here. It's key right now as Ariel comes off the ball screen that Dulce's player has to help on the ball screen. In doing that, we're taking the help off of the screen right here. It should be Dulcie's player that's helping on the screen. There's nobody there to help. As Maddie makes her cut, she runs a slight flare. Dulcie sets her screen. Maddie gets a wide open three. Maddie gets her feet set. A lot of times the ball's going through the basket. Great action, terrific screen. How about that quick release though? Man, that's pretty. I'll tell you what, her hands, and when she catches it, she's one of the few players I've ever coached that when it touches her hands, she is thinking shot. And unless you take it away, she's going to put it in the air. Well, she, she averaged three a game. I know she was a couple of games. She had eight. In that game, she had seven. What a fun player to watch. And we got her for three more years. Absolutely. Only a freshman, and what a great freshman year she had. Breaking the school record, men or women, the AAC record which by the way was held by Katie Lou Samuelson, who just happens to be playing in the WNBA right now. Yeah. And we're really looking forward to having Madison Griggs out of Houston High School. Got to give a little shout out to them. I, I can't wait for next year with almost everybody back and another stellar recruiting class. It'll be a lot of fun. You stay healthy and we'll talk to you again soon. Stay well, Th keep thinking Tigers. <laughs>